It's getting real, Chelsea fans. What is happening everybody, welcome back to Football Therapy with me, your host Jan. I hope you lot are doing well and welcome to today's video, which is a Chelsea news video. And it is on potential January signings. That's right, something I've talked about before. A few players have been confirmed or it's been confirmed that Chelsea Football Club are interested in a few players. This has been reported by a respected journalist that is actually quite close to Chelsea Football Club. And Frank Lampard was recently asked about this in his latest press conference. And he admitted to knowing that Chelsea are in the works of trying to get the ban lifted in January, but refused to make any sort of further comments because he's a sensible coach and he doesn't know the details. But Chelsea are looking to get the ban lifted in January. And I've said on this channel before, this is not uncommon at all. A two window ban is often often shortened to one window. It's like going to prison and getting out early via good behavior. So the players that Chelsea are apparently interested in signing, and yes, there's some recurring names in there, are Jaden Sancho, ding, ding, ding. Nathan Ake, yeah, we know about him. Wilfred Zaha, yep, figured. And Ben Chilwell. So let's talk about all these players, what I think about their connection to the club, would it make sense? Would they cost loads of money? Etc. Quick reminder though for you to join the Discord server, Football Therapy Discord. Come talk to me about football and Chelsea and the rest of the GOAT gang. Links down in the description via Patreon. Oh yeah, subscribe to the channel if you are new. Bell notification, like the video, follow me social media at Football Yannick, Instagram, Twitter, whatever. Right then, let's start with left back Ben Chilwell. Now, I've actually done a video on this a few days ago, so I urge you to go check it out. I go into detail about his statistics and metrics and general performances this season, and I talk about whether we really need him. So I'm gonna quickly sort of echo the sentiments that I said before. He's excellent and he probably would be a good signing to replace Marcus Alonso. Marcus Alonso is a good left wing back and at times rarely a good left back, but a lot of the time he's too slow and he's more trouble than he's worth, especially in this Frank Lampard style team. So if Alonso goes, Chilwell comes in. Emerson is excellent by the way, so you could have two starting left backs or two starting level left backs that compete, rotate, loads of competition. But do I think this is necessarily a priority? signing. I'm not so sure. Like I said before, I'd really like Chelsea to promote Ian Mutson and, and while Jody Morris and Frank Lampard are running Chelsea or at their home, they should look to promote these kids. Emerson's like a ripe age and he's very much the first team left back, so why not bring in one of the kids who look really, really good at left back? Saying that, Chilwell would be great, but remember how Leicester fleeced Manchester United for 80 million for Harry Maguire? They'd just definitely do the same for Ben Chilwell to Chelsea. So really, I'm on the fence. I could, if they can get him for like maybe 50 million, but I don't know, they'll probably try and get 70 plus. Whatever, I can understand why Chelsea want to go for him. He's a young, English, talented, forward-thinking, direct fullback, and that suits the mold of Chelsea's current ethos. So yeah, I dig it, but it might be a little bit too expensive. Next up, let's talk about Nathan Ake. Poor Nathan Ake. Well, he's like the talisman of Bournemouth at the moment, right? He went there on loan. He got recalled from loan by Chelsea to sort of not play in the Chelsea team, and he was doing so well at Bournemouth. It was actually pretty cold. And then he got his wish, and he got to go back to Bournemouth, and we sold... Nathan Ake for like, what was he, like 30 million or something? And he's doing superb there. Now, I think the biggest reason why this is one of the names linked is because I have a strong suspicion there's a buyback clause for Nathan Ake. And I reckon it's about 40 million pounds. Now, if you look at what he's doing at Bournemouth and some of the imperious defensive performances he's putting in against top tier Premier League attacks and how young he is and how much experience he's already got at a young age, 40 million is an absolute snip. You could like, get him for 40 million and maybe sell him for at least 10, 15 plus. Didn't Bournemouth ask Leicester for 70 million for him when they tried to replace Maguire? Granted, they got so into for what, however much and he looks excellent. Point being, man, 40 million for Ake would be excellent. But did Chelsea need Nathan Ake back? And would he want to come back yet again to maybe not play when he's like the absolute boss man, talisman of Bournemouth? Maybe. Obviously there's the Frank Lampard, Jody Morris, Joe Edwards revolution at Chelsea and that looks really attractive considering all his like academy peers are all playing. He could hang out with his mates again and play. But man, Chelsea 
have got what looks like a starting centre-back partnership at the moment between Tomori and Zuma, who have both been really good of late. Rudiger, who's apparently Chelsea's best centre-back, is going to try and muscle his way in. And Christensen is a talented young centre-back as well. If you're playing a two centre-back system, you don't need any more than four centre-backs. That's full rotation, and you can even play some of the youth academy development squad centre-backs if you're in a pinch because obviously Frank Lampard and Jody believe in the kids. So Nathan Ake coming in would probably mean an exit. Maybe Christensen who hasn't been playing much or Rudiger might not be happy with how he's not first teamer. There is a few rumours regarding Antonio Rudiger not being happy. I'm not sure how serious they are but maybe if Rudy goes then they'll bring in Ake but I hope not. Rudiger's sick. Anyway that's what I think about Nathan Ake. I can understand why Chelsea would want him back because he's very talented but I don't think they particularly need him and I think it's more the buyback clause that they're sniffing around the idea. I think they want to give Frank the option like you want a really good centre back for quite cheap and he's young? Hmm? Or are you happy with these guys? Because you can get him. Anyway that's Ake talked about mic drop. So let's move on to Wilfred Zaha. <laughs> Zaha's probably when he first signed his new contract with Palace they probably were like we want 100 million nothing less. But as every month goes by, and I don't think he's scored a Premier League goal yet, I think he's got like one assist. I know he's an amazingly talented player, but he's not like 21 years old anymore. And I don't know man, like how, what would they want for him, like 70 million? Would they take 70 million for Zaha now? Maybe. But let's talk about did Chelsea want him? And I think, no. <laughs> Why would you want Wilfred Zaha when it just, he should go to like, it made more sense for him to go to Arsenal. And to be honest, if I talked about any destination for him now, not Arsenal, because they've got Lacazette, you know, Pepe, Aubameyang, and they've got some kids coming through that are really good forwards. Really, Zaha, for me, should go to Tottenham. They'd play him, he'd start over like Lamella um, and stuff like that. And he's a good creative player. But Chelsea, they've got hudson Adoy, who's going to be the future. They've got Christian Pulisic, who's in scintillating form. Yes, Willian and Pedro are going to be going soon. Maybe Willian will stay for another season. But, you know, Zaha isn't the answer for me. Sure, he's going to win you a few penalties in the box with his great dribbling. Chelsea have great dribblers. They've got hudson Adoy, They've got Kovacic. They have got... Ruben Loftus-Cheek. All amazing dribblers and creators. Zaha would be a huge waste of money. He was originally linked to Chelsea because of the uh, idea of an Eden Hazard replacement but fortunately we've moved away from the narrative of an Eden Hazard replacement because it's much more of a team vibe philosophy at Chelsea now which is great. And in terms of the level of investment Zaha makes no sense for my money or Chelsea's money. You catch my drift. So, it's lovely to hear there's confirmation of interest of Jadon Sancho. Again, another plug for a video I've done, why Jadon Sancho would want the Chelsea move. You should go check out that video. But this makes more sense, and again, it's making sense in terms of if Chelsea do buy a winger, it's because Pedro's going out the door, it's because Willian's time setting, it's because you could probably play in certain games Pulisic, hudson Adoy, and Sancho all together with Pulisic playing in the number 10 if Mount's not playing or whatever. You can absolutely have three elite starting level wingers at your club and rotate them all, especially when they can all like play number 10 and play an inside forward. You can absolutely have a team with Mount, hudson Adoy, Pulisic and Sancho in comfortably. And if you've seen my video on Sancho, you understand why he'd probably want to come back to London and play with hudson Adoy, play with some young English lads. He's had a great experience out in Germany. He is a boyhood Chelsea fan. And who doesn't want to play for Frank Lampard at the moment with that feel-good factor? Let's be honest. So he might want the transfer. Obviously, I'm not speaking for the kid, but you can theorise on the tangibles and say, yeah, he might fancy the Chelsea move. Again, go and watch my video on it. But it's going to be a big bucks. The money is the issue here. So if Chelsea say, right, we're going to spend the Ed and Hazard money, the Morata money on Jadon Sancho. He would have to immediately become the second highest paid player at Chelsea behind N'Golo Kante. So Kante is on what, 290k a week? hudson Adoy is on like 100k a week. Tammy's probably going to be on 100k a week. And they're like, you know, Mason Mount, I don't know what he's on, but it'll be less than 100k a week. These kids are all putting in the graft and the work and they're you know, providing on the pitch already. Jaden Sancho strolls in and he'll demand at least what he's earning now at Dortmund, which I think is like 200k a week. Do Chelsea want to do that for a young kid? I don't know. I mean, their money's really the only issue when it comes to it, but 
if you think about it, if everyone can be happy with their contracts and their money and whatever, and there's a harmony within the group, then yeah, Jaden Sancho makes loads of sense. Why not? But yeah, I can only speculate that he'd be interested in the move, and yet you can understand why Chelsea would be interested in him and how it could work out under Frank Lampard. But you know, money's getting in the way, and who knows, maybe egos and playtime. There's loads of stuff to consider. But we'll have to see how Chelsea's appeal goes in January. And remember, the biggest thing here, the biggest issue is does buying a player you know ruin squad harmony frank lampard commented like well, yeah we're on a run thing of good things are going well at the moment do you know what i mean do you want to jeopardize that by bringing in an external person and seeing how that goes with a great dressing room it can be risky such is the beauty of the rich tapestry of world football man that was poetic Hmm. Anyway, what do you think? Get down in the comments below. Let me know your thoughts and opinions on those linked players. Would you take them back? Would you take Ake back? Sancho? Get down in the comments and let me know. And remember, guys, you can join the Discord and talk to me and the GOAT gang about Chelsea and football. If you've enjoyed the video, please do like the video. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. Follow me on social media at Football Yannick on both Instagram and Twitter. I'm out. You lot enjoy the football, and I will see you later. You ain't so tough with that bad boy tuck. I'ma get it how I'm living. I'ma walk the walk. Outline my lines. I rap through thought. Body bag the verse. Outline the chalk. In my life, seen trouble. Hustle on the double. Silence on the trigger like my pick got a muzzle. Yo, chick like to guzzle. Bad boy stay in trouble. I only love this paper. Sorry, I don't. I love me, baby.